in every single interaction and conversation that you have, you have the power to completely change the entire dynamic instantly by just applying this simple tip. Hello everybody, welcome to another conversational mastery video. For those of you who are new to my channel, this is video three in a series that I'm making about conversational mastery and how we can really begin to develop our conversations so we can connect with people more deeply and really strengthen our relationships in our lives. So a lot of you guys really enjoyed the first and second tips that I gave in this series. So I thought it was time that I gave you my third tip. For those of you who haven't seen tips one and two, then I recommend that you check out the playlist, which is above screen now. Go check out one and two and then come back to this video later because it's good for you to get all of the information so you can really start building a strong repertoire of your conversational skills and bringing all of these concepts together because a single one of these concepts on its own will make a difference, but bringing them all together and creating this complete holistic picture is really what's gonna transform you in your conversations and help you to really connect with people much more deeply in your life, whether they're people that you've known for a long time or people that you're just meeting now in this moment. So tip number three is really important. And I think it's something that a lot of us often don't really even realize that we are doing, but so many of us get trapped in a small mistake and we don't even realize how much it impacts our relationships and interactions with other people. Have you ever been in a situation when somebody comes into the interaction and they bring this really heavy and negative energy? Maybe they're kind of grumpy or standoffish, or you could just feel as soon as they come into the room that they just fill the space with this ambience of stress and low energy. And instantly you feel yourself accommodate for their energy because it's so powerful and so strong. You also find yourself becoming stressed or uncomfortable because you don't really know how to respond to their energy. And sometimes when that person talks to you, you might actually meet them at the same level that they're at. We're again allowing ourselves to be affected by someone else's state of being, someone else's energy in that moment. Oftentimes I think we get caught in this natural mirroring where we meet people and the energy that they bring to an interaction, we kind of allow ourselves to meet them there, wherever they are, whether they're feeling amazing and hyper and high energy, or they're feeling kind of flat, or they're feeling kind of low energy. We, a lot of the time, will allow ourselves to be followers in conversation or in interactions. You're allowing other people's state of being or their energy to affect yours. The way that you approach every interaction is always going to be dictated by someone else. And again, coming back to a concept that I mentioned in the first and second videos in this series, is that it's so important if we wanna be mastering conversation and really impacting people deeply in our interactions, we really wanna be coming from a place of leadership. Do we really wanna be living in a state where other people's negativity or stress or low energy is gonna be affecting ours and affecting our day, making us act um, out of a place that's not our best selves. My third tip in this conversational mastery series is to allow yourself to be the leader with your energy. So what do I mean by this? If you decide that you are somebody who is playful and confident, then it doesn't matter if the person that you're speaking to is not feeling very playful or they're feeling angry or they're feeling low energy. If you've decided, okay, I'm someone who's playful and high energy and confident, you're going to be the leader in that interaction. You're gonna steer that person out of their energy and allow them to meet you where you are. I'll give you an example of this idea of leading, being a leader with your energy in interactions. So the other day I was out with a bunch of my friends and I was feeling pretty tired after the night out. We had been dancing for like five hours and my energy was completely depleted and I was starting to feel hungry, a little bit grumpy and like I really just wanted to go home, eat some food, get in my PJs and have a really good sleep. And me and my friends were all kind of sat around. We weren't really talking that much. We were just sort of quietly enjoying each other's company, but it was a very like passive, relaxed energy. And then all of a sudden, our friend comes into the room from his night out and he just has this really infectious, positive energy where he just comes in and like gives everyone a big hug, he's laughing and joking and instantly, 
I felt myself and so did everybody else, we felt ourselves just get like a level up in our energy, even though we were knackered and exhausted and we didn't feel like talking that much or doing anything. As soon as we saw this friend, we instantly just felt super high energy. In that situation, our friend could have easily just come in and seen that we were all feeling pretty flat and could have matched us. And he could have joined our energy of being relaxed and being chilled and it would have been a very different night. But instead, he actually thought, actually, you know what? I'm in a really good mood. I'm feeling excited. So I'm just gonna leave with my energy. So this tip is really simple, but I think really important. When, when you're faced with interactions with people, if they're feeling negative, if they're feeling tired, if they're feeling flat, if they're feeling grumpy, just allow yourself to recognize for a moment if you start to be affected by that emotion, affected by their energy, and realize for a moment for yourself, actually, do you know what? I'm somebody who's gonna be really high energy in this moment because I'm in a good mood. I'm feeling excited to just keep bringing this positive, loving energy. And I'm not gonna allow this person's energy to bring me down, but instead I'm gonna try and raise those up. You know, I think you can even see it as a bit of a game that, you know, when you're interacting with people, see how much of your energy you can, you can bring that can really help them to elevate themselves. When you can be somebody who can really bring that high energy to interactions and be unapologetically yourself. When you combine this tip with the other two tips that I've given in the previous weeks, it really transforms your whole interaction because you're really allowing yourself to step into the role of that leader in that, in that situation. You're also really leveling up your own personal experience because you're not allowing your experience to be affected by the emotions and the energy of other people. You're allowing yourself to be authentic to you in that moment. It really helps you to build confidence when you can see yourself coming into a space and leading with your energy and being really um, infectious to people. People are gravitated to those of us who can bring that high energy because you make them feel good, you make them feel excited. When you're around, there's never a boring moment. You're so passionate about the things that are going on, you bring so much positive energy that it really just makes people feel like they wanna be around you. And it just doesn't always have to be like you're manifesting this super high energy, hyper version of yourself. It's whatever you see yourself as being, who is the, the person that you wanna be, like your sort of best self? What kind of qualities does that person exude? And how can you bring that into the energy that you have in every single interaction? It doesn't always have to be that you're, you're coming to every interaction with like this hyper excitement and enthusiasm if you're not really feeling like that in that moment, but it's more about deciding that you're not going to allow other people's energy to affect yours. And you know, something that I think can really help us to be more present and aware with this process of learning to lead with our energy is doing meditation. It's, it's a really simple uh, daily habit that I think so many of us can do that, you know, many, many of my clients and many of those of you who know me personally, you know that I always recommend people to do meditation on a daily basis, even if it's just for 10 minutes, because you can really catch yourself when you're being affected by other people's energy and you can really allow yourself to come back to yourself and your present experience. Just think about whoever the person is that you wanna be. If you consider yourself to be someone who's really loving, someone who's really compassionate, someone who's funny, someone who's outgoing, someone who's really caring. When you meet people, you're bringing that energy, you're leading with that energy. You're not allowing other people's energy to affect you. So if you see yourself as somebody who's really compassionate and understanding, and you come into a conversation where people are maybe being kind of low vibration and speaking badly about others, you're not allowing yourself to go down to that level. You're allowing yourself to be raising it up by you know, saying positive things about that person and trying to steer the conversation away from this kind of low vibrational negative state and towards something that's more positive and more loving and compassionate. Leading with your energy is all about understanding energetically, like who do you wanna be? What characteristics do you wanna really tap into in yourself? And how can you bring that into your energy and not allow other people to affect your energy in that way? So that's my third tip. I think it's a pretty powerful one when it's combined with the first two tips that I've given in this series. So again, if you haven't actually watched those first two tips, I really recommend that you go and check them out. Putting all of these things together in a holistic way is gonna make the biggest impact to your relationships and your conversational mastery. Thank you so much for watching, guys. I really hope that you enjoyed this video. Um, I feel really blessed to be coming onto this space with you every single week and sharing advice, sharing experiences, sharing insights. And I'm really thankful for each and every one of you who takes the time to sit down and watch these videos. So. For those of you who are 
longtime followers of the channel, feel free to share the channel around and give this video a thumbs up so that we can share these videos with more people who are looking to grow in this area. But also for those of you who are new to this content and you've enjoyed these videos, hit the subscribe button and don't forget to hit the bell so you can get notifications for my weekly videos. Come and be a part of this community where we're growing together and really trying to unlock our best selves and tap into what it really means to be cultivating a life for ourselves that we can love. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you have a beautiful day. Bye.